Hi everyone, it's Dina from Aldina Rose Designs and I'm just going to show you how to do the patterned fill. I've had a lot of questions on how I did my marine shirt, how I got the different designs, the American flag and the um, marine cameo outfit inside the letters. Um, and you can do this as well with Cricut Explore um, using their pattern fill. So let me get started. I already looked up on Google and I, I clicked on American flag and I saved it. So now I'm going to go to my left hand corner under file and I'm going to hit import and then I'm going to hit import to library. Okay. And then I'm going to scroll here and I'm going to find my American flag wavy. Here it is. I'm going to hit okay. And now you'll see that it shows up here, okay, and it says American flag under my own designs. But what you want to do is drag it to the left-hand side where it says my patterns. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to hold it down my shift key, and I'm going to bring it over there, and there it is. Now it's in, um, now it's in my pattern fill window. So... I'm just going to type out a word to show you how it's done. So I'm just going to type out flag. I'm going to click off of that and click on it. And I'm going to do a chunky font, which um, I like to use the impact font um, because that's nice and chunky. And it works well with chunkier fonts. You can use other chunkier fonts if you like. Okay. So I'm just going to make this pretty big so you can get the idea. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to drag it bigger. I'm just going to um, bring my word right up here. And then what I'm going to do is up at the top, you'll see um, a little square that has little dots on it and that's your pattern fill window. So you're going to kick on, click on your pattern fill window and it's going to show you over here um, your basic uh, fill pattern options. You're going to scroll all the way down and it's going to say my patterns. Okay, so you should find your design in my patterns. You're going to click on your um, wording or your letters and you're going to click on what you want, which is in your pattern fill. And as you see, it brought it right in. There's the American flag. Now what you can do is you can hit advanced options okay and um, what you can do in here is you can scale your pattern so if you want to make it bigger see where you see all the flags scale it smaller um, so that you get some of the stuff the stripes and the stars the other thing that you can do is I'm going to click off and click on is you can pan the pattern so you're going to get this little toggle in the middle. And what that does is when you pan the pattern and drag it, it shows you the whole pattern of um, the picture. So see, it's bringing the whole thing down. You can move it however you want it. I definitely want to get some of those uh, stars in there with the stripes. Actually, I kind of like that. And there you have it. Now, the other thing that you can do, and I've done it with the life shirts, and um, you can do it with, with any of them, is if you wanted to separate the word and make part of it one design and the other half another design, simply what you do, and in design space, you're going to use um, your slice, but in your Silhouette Cameo, you're going to use, I'm going to bring it bigger, your knife tool. So I'm going to click on my knife tool and you want to use the straight edge. And I'm not going to be fancy because this is just for um, video purposes, but I'm going to make a straight or try to be straight line. And what you can do, because my hand shakes, and I do have a video on how to make the life shirts, which explains how you get the two different colors. Um, but on the left-hand side, the numbers will disappear if you're going to be straight. They'll reappear if your line is not straight. So you just kind of, I kind of move mine till I do not, do not see um, the numbers anymore. 
There we go. And let's see, let me make sure. Oh. Okay. So now let me get rid of my um, knife tool and get my select tool. So now I'm gonna click and group these together by clicking on it using my shift key and clicking on the upper half of the letters. Then I'm going to right click. I'm going to hit group, okay? So that'll group those together and you'll see the upper half of those letters um, are cut in half and see, they'll go right back together again. So if you move that up and click on the bottom half and group all those together the same way, hit select or hit shift, I'm sorry, and select each letter, then right click and hit group. So now all these will be grouped together as well. So now I want the bottom half something else. So I'm going to go back up to my fill pattern window. I'm going to click on that. And um, I did bring some of my own designs in, but you'll see you have a lot of options that are already in there. Um, and I'm going to show you, I did bring the Marine Cami in, and that's the Marine Corps uh, camouflage look. Let me get, actually get rid of the line colors um, so that we don't have those red line colors in that as well. There we go. And the same thing for this. You can go into um, your pattern fill, go to advanced options, and you'll see that you can do so many different things. You could mirror it, you could um, stretch it, um, you could scale the pattern as you see, and you could just get it just the way you want it. And like I showed you before, you can also uh, click off click on and you can pan the pattern and pull your toggle and it'll show you like right over here I kind of like that because it says US Marines I don't know if you can see that right over here let me pull that up on my okay so you get a better look here so see that's what it looks like in those lines let me zoom out and I'll give you a close-up of this part here the upper part where you could see I put the American flag in. Okay, so let me get to the regular window. So now what you could do is you just even them out together like that and put them together. And let me just make sure that's even. And there you have your two-toned letters using the fill pattern. It's very easy. And like I said, you can do this in um, with your design space as well as the silhouette. Now, the only other thing that you can do in silhouette that you cannot do in design space, you would have to go to Inkscape, um, but that's okay, is to, what I like to do is I like to make a shadow around it to make it pop, whether I'm doing a t-shirt, a bag, whatever. So I'm going to Put a box around them I'm going to group them all together okay uh, so that see so that they'll move together and then what I'm going to is I'm going to click on it I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit offset now your regular offset default is 0 0.125 and I'm going to show you what that looks like I'm going to click on that and I'm going to hit black and then I'm also going to get rid of the line color. And as you can see, it makes it pop. So now you have um, the background or the, the offset or shadow, whatever you want to call it, right behind it so it makes it pop. And you can make it um, as big or as small as you want. So I hope this was helpful. It's a lot of fun. Give it a try, guys. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.